What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I decided to record back-to-back -back days of Pokemon Sword and Shield content for you guys because you guys have been enjoying this content a lot more than the other content on the channel. It goes a long way, so I want to give back to you guys by recording an extra video so you guys can uh, watch some more of this. But we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Dust Cops and Dragapult Weakness Policy Team. This team is awesome. I saw it over on Instagram and I was like, I have to try it out considering it has Galissapod on it as well. And I never use Galissapod on the ranked ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Everything, all the views, all the likes, all the subscriptions to the channel helps it grow and shows me support. Seriously, thank you guys so much. But like I said, on the scene, we got Dragapult over here, clear body and weakness policy with a big old special attacking moveset, Draco Meteor, Shadow Ball, T-Bolt, and Protect. It also has the Dust Cops to pair well with it because we can go into a Shadow Sneak, trigger that weakness policy, not do a lot of damage to it, and have that Dragapult roll out considering it's so fast. And with that weakness policy proc, they'll be able to one tap Pokemon left and right. Dust Cops can also set Trick Room, and it has Ally Switch to protect our ally Pokemon. We got Galarian Weezing over here with Neutralizing Gas. I love this ability. I really does. Neutralizing Gas, it takes out opposing Pokemon's ability. So, like, if a T Tar comes in and it has Sandstream, we'll say nah, so we can cancel out Weather Teams. That uh, use ability. So, like Nine Tails or like Tourcals to get heat, we can just uh, lead Weezing or just bring in Weezing and cancel out abilities right then and there. Has Strange Stream and Sludge Bomb for stab. Pain Split to actually keeps HP up and protect. We got Incineroar to control a little bit. We got Throat Chop, Fake Out, Parting Shot, Flare Blitz, and Intimidate. You know the ability to Intimidate. And Figgy Berry to keep its HP up. Extra Drill, nice little back end Pokemon. Normal moveset, normal item with that Focus Sash, Mole Breaker ability, Rock Slide, Iron Head, High Horsepower, and Protect. And then in the final spot, a new Pokemon which I am hyped for. We got the Lissapod with that Life Orb, Liquidation, and Aqua Jet for Stab. Aqua Jet is actually first turn priority. We got Leech Life for Stab, and we can get HP back. And Wide Guard in case we know that a double move is coming in here. A move that's going to hit both of our Pokemon so we can guard up, block it, and have the other Pokemon get a free attack off. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys do with that. I would love to know. And guys, I know, I know, I haven't been commenting back to people, but I try to get to every single comment. I really do try to get to every single comment. I know I'm a little bit, little bit behind, but bear with me, bear with me. I will get back to the comments and I'll comment back to you guys. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ranked up ladder and try to get some wins with this weakness policy dragon pull team. First battle on its way. This guy has a little bit of a heat team with that Torkoal Trick Room a little bit. He has uh, probably the Light Forward Rotom Wash, Incineroar, and Chandelure with that Conqueror in the back end. Who should I go? I think I'm just going to lead Dragapult and Dusclops and just play it simple, go into a Shadow Sneak and be able to Dynamax. He has no Follow Me Pokemon, so if he's going for that Trick Room, I think we can one tap up on a Dusclops, no problem with the Weakness Policy Dragapult. So that's definitely a safe lead. Let's go Poltsky into the Clops. Um, Incineroar? Do we bring Incineroar? Eh. I mean, it could help out with that Conqueror, because I think he's definitely going to bring that Conqueror. I could take Heat away, but, like, what does Heat do for him? What does Heat really do besides just bring up the Fire damage? It doesn't really do too, too much. I mean, it decreases my Water damage, so maybe not bring Glossopod, but it decreases his Water damage as well. But Glossopod's still a beast. I'm going to bring Glossopod, and I think I'm going to bring my, my Incineroar. I'm going to bring my Incineroar, and we're going to rock out from there. Let's get it. Guys, I just got a new flavor of G Fuel right here. Dub Melon Mint. Absolutely fire. It smacks. It's so good. Normally, my favorite flavor is watermelon, so I'm a fan of the watermelon taste in it, but then it has this mint aftertaste, which is so refreshing. It's so nice, dude. Like, I'm in love with this flavor. This is my first time trying it. My first glass of it. It's pretty good. I'm loving it so far. Who goes Road Time and Dust Cops? Um, do I predict the ally switch? That's a real question. I predict the ally switch. Do we think this Rotom's rocking out with ally switch? Potentially. Potentially. Hmm. I just seen what I got. That's totally cool with me. Definitely gonna go for that uh, Dynamax into the Phantasm. And then I think I'm gonna predict the ally switch. I'm gonna predict the ally switch here. Show me you're going for that ally switch, big dog. Uh, she's not gonna do it, and I'm just overthinking. I shouldn't have actually went for it. The simple plays always win in Pokemon. Oh my lord. Guys, you want to see me push, push the rank ladder also? Head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out. Hit that follow button. Turn on your notifications so you know when I go live. But here we go. Dynamax in here. Show me the allies, which that would be like the lead of the century. That could be so big for us. That could be absolutely huge for us. But I also have a Dust Cop, so I mean, I can just counter Trick Room with Trick Room, so it's really not a big deal if we do miss. But there's no way either of these Pokemon are really going to take them out before the next turn ends. So, am I making monster read? Shadow Sneak comes out here. 
Does Shadow Sneak just go before Ally Switch? No, I doubt it. I don't think he Ally Switch. That's tough news. But still, I'd rather hit this Rotom up. I'd rather, I would actually might rather hit this Rotom up. Phantasm comes out here. We should be able to KO this thing unless it's Sash. Let's see. I did not see when we first hit. I think it was the board, but go on. Add him. Get him going. Get him out of here, kid. We lower defense for that thing, which is oh, wonderful. Which is wonderful. Trickery might pop here. Let's see. Will it was. That's totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. I guess he thought we were going to go Trick Room. I mean, I can take out Clops right now. Oh my god, everything's working beautiful for me. Beautifully. Let's get it. Okay. So, who are you going to go out into? I got, uh... I got my Dragon move if I want to decrease attack. I can do anything. Chandelure. Ooh, wee, ooh, wee. Um, maybe a Dynamax Chandelure here. I'm just going to absolutely Alice Switch. And Phantasm over onto it. But again, I'm not worried about that Dust Clops at all. If you can burn me, it really doesn't matter. I mean, or I could just Shadow Sneak. Double into Chandelure. Yeah. Let's take out Chandelure. I think sh you, typically Chandelures are Sashed. So Shadow Sneak comes out here. Yay! I'm going to take off your Sash, do a little bit of damage, and then Dragon Pull obviously outspeeds. And says, Night Night to the Chandelure. Bro, oh my god, this team is fire. This team is fire. Just a Dragon Pull and Dust is so good. I burst this on the rank ladder, and I got absolutely smacked on. Like, absolutely just smacked on real quick, just like I'm doing to this guy. Like, this lead is insane. Like, you're not outspeeding the Dragon Pull. Its damage is boosted with that weakness policy, and it's just Night Night. Trick Room comes out. I feel like this is his last option of uh, of winning. But I feel like if I just ally switch instead of going for that Trick Room to counter it, I can keep the pole alive and then dump on the next Mon and roll from there. And it's Conkledor. It's Conkledor. This is Conky Conkledor, who he is 100% Dynamax and who can't really do much to any of these Pokemon. He has no stab moves to it. Um, we got Wormwind here. Yeah, let's go Wormwind over on you. And then I'll just ally switch this one. Yeah, no need to even roll a trick. I mean, he might just cancel the battle. This might be the quickest battle we ever had. Nope, he does not cancel. But still, this is going to be a quick battle. Let's get it. The steam, baby. Just showing off that pole all day. Nice shade comes out. Oh, you were going after my what's it called? You were going after him, my pole. Ice punch comes through. Yeah, ally switch coming up big for us. Now we'll get the attack. Minus one on the Conqueror, which he actually might just be dead yet, to be honest. Yeah, yo. Oh, no, he's not dead. But I do have Shadow Sneak. I do have Shadow Sneak. That's dope. Okay, so Conqueror's attack falls. We're chilling with that one. Um, do we have fan? No, we're done. We're done with our Dynamax games, I think. But still, I can't believe he didn't Dynamax. I don't think he is going to. A Shadow Sneak will be able to take that thing out. And then I think our nice, uh, our nice Shadow Ball should be able to take out the Dust Cops. Oh yes, sir. Yo, GG to this guy. Just, <laughs> oh my God, and these are top ten thousand. These are top ten thousand on the uh, Master Ball tier. It's not like some dinky little players right here. We slapping up. We slapping up out here. Boop. I actually started like pushing heavy on the rank ladder, not heavy, but I actually been trying on the rank ladder, like setting myself using one team, and I've been doing so well. Like I've got my winning record back. I've been doing like awesome, just absolutely dominating. Shadow Ball comes out and GG, and GG. It's just that easy. It's just that. It's just that simple. We don't. Oh, we don't pick up the KO. This thing's bulky. Little so Shadow Sneak comes out here. How did the thing go before me? Oh, he has Trick Room. Ugh, come on, GG. You're better than that. I'm hoping this takes out. And I'm gonna just throw a Shadow Ball. I don't think his Night Shade's gonna take me out. Bam, 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 bam. He just cancels the battle. Imagine he Dynamaxes the Dust Cops and sweeps me. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I'd say that first battle was a huge success. We're going up against a Sandstorm team. I'm gonna lead that Weezing here. Try to cancel out just uh, Sandstorm abilities right here and go Incineroar as well so I can intimidate as well if he gets the, uh, or if he goes for that Sandstorm. That's totally fine by me. We're gonna Weezing, Incineroar. And I think extra Drill Galissa Pod can actually come up big here. We got the Iron. Go for that Toke Kiss, do some work on it. Same thing with that Galissapod with the uh, Stab Liquidation and the Stab Leech Life. With that Life Orb damage as well. Oh my god. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're going to keep Dragon Pult and uh, Dust Cops way out of this for battle number one. Or not battle number one. For uh, this battle. Because I just feel like it's going to be very predictable. It's going to be very predictable. And I, and I feel like he's just going to go Sandstorm and try to outspeed. I'm kind of hoping. That could be huge. This could be huge lead read. Uh, a lead read. That could be a huge lead read. Let's see what we get. Sir. Show me Sandstorm. Come on, show it to me, baby. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, man. Okay. That's actually, that's fine by me. Intimidate comes out here on the extra drill. And neutralizing gas, so no abilities for both of you. Oh, yeah. He wanted to swap it. He wanted to swap it. That's what he wanted to do. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to swap it, big dog. Uh, do I even pick out? Yeah, I gotta pick out. Incineroar. And then go into maybe a protector. I'm just gonna protect the Weezing, to be honest. I think Iron Head's coming in here. 
Oh, she's in a double protect. Okay, so I don't think anything's happening this turn. Right? Unless he go. Oh, no, he's going for an EQ, man. Is he going for an EQ? That's the real question. They got was not a success. He might be going for EQ. Let's see. Yeah, EQ comes out here. Ooh, and Sonora's going to take some hits soon. He cannot. Oh, can he hit, hit Weezing? Oh, no, he's not levitated. Yeah, so that would have been huge. I mean, that's still big damage right there. Incineroar gets bopped up. But it's nice to know Incineroar is faster. Or no, it's because of the fake out. Can I get off this Flare Blitz? Can I get off this Flare Blitz? Hmm. I could just go for Sludge Bomb, go for the Poison, or I could go for a Strange Stream, and go for the Confuse. I feel like the Confuse could be uh, pretty good for us. He's going to withdraw and go into Titar? He goes into Titar. Nope, Togi. Togi, Togi, Blogi Kiss. EQ comes out. Nice swap. Doesn't affect that. And he's going to pick up maybe... No, not double kill. But he's going to take out my Incineroar. Oh my god. This dude's running with his extra roll right now. Hmm. Hmm. How should I go with this? Strange Stream comes out. Show me confusion. That could be big for us. Give me, give me ducks. Give me ducks. No ducks. But Black, Black Sludge is going to come out here. Which is wonderful. Another EQ will take us out. I think we got a Dynamax or a Glossopod. I think Dynamax and Glossopod send in... Uh, Geyser set in the rain. Be pretty nice. Let's see what you want, boo. The only thing that stinks about uh neutralizing gas is once he dies, the abilities start to come out. It's not like they just go away. Go Max Geyser into you. And then uh Sludge Bomb over onto Tokus. What you want, boo? What you want? I maybe should have protected my uh Yeah, I'm thinking I should have protected the what's it called? Mm, the Weezing. The Weezing gonna go down here. I oh, know he just withdraws the extra. It's huge. And he's gonna send out whom? Incineroar, which is wonderful. Intimidate doesn't come out here. And the Geyser's gonna be able to do some big old work. Some big old work. Unless he goes for a follow me. She might. Maybe, maybe not. I think he's just gonna try to take out my, uh, my Weezing here. And get it out of the way. But Glissapod coming in. Life Orb. I love Glissapod's design. Like, oh my god, he's the coolest bug book. One of the coolest bug book. Let's see, are, you, are we going to see a follow me? No follow me, Air Slash comes out though. And uh, Incineroar should go down here, which is perfect. He gets a crit. Bro, what you mean? What you mean? Sludge Bomb comes through. Yeet. So, good thing no Protect didn't come out. We get some big damage there. Should we poison? No poison, but guys are coming in hot. Guys should be able to take this out. Life Orb damage. Go Bilp. See you later. Incineroar out of here. Get him gone, kid. I'm a good guard. My guard. I just feel like the extra drill is coming back out here for another EQ. Mm. This is, oh, dude, we are sitting in such a tough spot right here. Because if the extra drill comes out, he's definitely, actually, does he outspeed my ghost spot? I mean, Togekiss does. And I feel like this thing's going to outspeed, yeah. Extra drill comes back out. Man! Let me see something real quick. Let me see these things' stats. Let me see them stats. Check them summoners. Mm. This thing's just not even fast at all. That's the thing. Seems made for trick rumen. The rumen of the tricks. I do have Aqua Jet on it. And I gotta go for a geyser. Back. Hmm. And then Sludge Bomb. Which is I want to protect. He's gonna go for an EQ. Doesn't affect Tokus. Someone dodge it! Go spot eat. Go spot eats pretty well. If he doesn't get a crit here, if he doesn't get a crit here, this is gonna be big for us. That's what I gotta hope. He doesn't get a crit. Neutralizing gas wears off, Mole Breaker comes back out, and he's gonna get probably his super luck back. Yeah, and he does get a crit. Ah! I hate this game! <laughs> oh my god. No! Glissapod, no! Alright, Glissapod goes down, and I think this one's wrapped up pretty simple. One and one with this team, looking like. Well, it's looking like that. He's probably just gonna Dynamax it. Extra, that extra is just running us. That was tough, that was tough. Mm. Man, I best should have checked some Galissapod stats before this <laughs> happened. I'm just gonna go for a high horsepower. We need this extra drill gone if we're gonna do anything, but Dynamax probably just coming. No, he doesn't Dynamax. We do outspeed. Nope, take him out. KO. Oh, he's Sash. Dude, he's Sash. Get out of my face. It's all right. If we can eat up both these shots, uh, what's it called? It can come up clutch. A rock slide. A rock slide can pick up the double kill. But is this thing rocking heat wave? Uh, but it doesn't even matter. We need him to miss. Miss! He misses and we clutch this one up. Oh my lord. Heat wave missed. Nope. <laughs> How come my heat waves always miss? But this guy, like everybody else is laying every single time. It's a whack. And the crits are just on today. The crits are just on today for this token case. 
But one and one with this team. GG to that guy. We're going to hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record with this Ghost Pond squad. Not another Sandstorm team. Extra Drill, leave us alone. <laughs> that Extra Drill just ran us last game. But third and final battle. Do I try? Do I try again for that Galarian Weezing? How do I play this one? How do I play this one? I said we go for Galarian Weezing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Glaring Weezing, um, bum, bum, bum. I could go Galissapod as a lead. I could if I really want to, but I think I'm gonna roll Trick Room. I think I am gonna roll Trick Room. I don't think he is going to. He might. If not, we just, uh, we just chill out. We're gonna go Galissapod, and then in the final spot, we're gonna bring Extra all the way in the back. All the way in the back. We're gonna try to get this Trick Room up. We're gonna try to cancel out Weather or, like, Sandstorm if he leads it. That's totally fine. I'm just trying to get that Trick Room up. If I can get that Trick Room up without him having, uh... Uh, Sandstorm, mm, we're gonna be sitting pretty. I can get Galissapod in there, control the weather as rain, and just roll out strong from there. Let's get it. Let's go. What does this guy want? We're coming in for that winning record, and I want it. And I want it bad. I'm hoping I can get it. I've been doing very good on my uh, YouTube videos. I've been getting winning records, I think, constantly now, or more consistently. I used to uh, borderline get like, I used to go 1 and 2, sometimes go like 2 and 1, but now I've been going 3 and 0, oh, 2 and 1 most of the time. But we go Weezing and Collapsy Poo. He goes Collapsy Poo as well. Um,. I mean, that's fine by me. I can drop Sludge Bombs. He can set Trick Room if he wants. So I'm just going to drop a Sludge Bomb over on you. And I'm going to go for a... Hmm. I'm going to try to... I'm going to say let him uh, trigger. I'm going to say let him trigger the Trick Room. Unless he's not going for the Trick Room. Unless he just played the Dust Cops to kind of counter the Trick Room. But I think that's what he might be doing. And I think that's what he's trying to do right now. It's predictive we're going for it. He's gonna withdraw Tokus, which is totally fine. He's gonna get in. Whom are you getting in? Pitar. Okay, so Sandstorm is not rolling here. So let's comes through. Can we get a poison on this thing? Get damn. We'll get a nightshade off on that thing as well. Oh, you thought we were going for that fairy move, did you? Oh, we get a poison. Oh my god, I love this game. Nightshade comes out of here. Uh I'm gonna go trick room next turn. I'm definitely gonna trick room next turn. Nightshade comes out. I don't know if he's singing that that the same thing as me. But our black sludge is popping. I mean, I go for the fairy move right now, but he might he might die. I don't know if he's gonna do it now. We got the poison on him. Let's get it, Weezing. Let's get it, big dog. Um, strange stream. I mean, I think Titar might outspeed us. I'm gonna go for Trick Room. I'm gonna go for Trick Room. I think he's gonna go for it as well now. Might be tough for us. But if he brought that Titar, it leads me to think that he's going for that extra as well. Make sure he comes in. Do we pick up KO with that? Poison will. Poison will, so that's awesome. Guitar is dead. He's going to get off one nice shot on one of them. I wonder who he's going for. Unless he's going for a, a slide that is full of rocks. Rock slide, yep. Oh, come on, yo. Eat it up, Klops. Unless he's running Trick Room. Klops definitely needs him. Oh, we both eat it up. Just dandy. And she comes out. Okay, beautiful. We get Trick Room easily. We have Trick Room easily. Weezing goes down, and we get Glissapod out here. Right here, right now. Huge, huge plays. Neutralized Gas comes out. Sandstream does roll. That is actually big for, uh... Actually, no, it's not big for his extra drill. Because, uh, we're going to get Trick Room. I'm tricking him all day. Let's go. All the frisk comes out. We see what items they got going. Dust cops. <laughs> what do you mean? I hate this game. <laughs> Are you serious? We flinched. We really just flinched there. We really just flinched there. Really just flinched there. I'm saving the extra, or, or I'm saving the glissapod now. I have to. I need trick room for that thing. Bro, dude, whack, super whack. All right, so extra comes out. I think his extra is gonna come out here as well. No, prima nina, prima nina comes out. Uh, I think I can just protect here. Fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll trick him again. Definitely going for that liquid wish shot on me. Going for trick him again. Come on, I need it. Cause Glissapod can run. You can run things, baby. Beans, get my dumb melon mitt in me. Oh my god, dude, I love this GPO flavor. I got this one in French Vanilla. French Vanilla is an awesome morning one. You guys are like coffee people. Mm, it's a light coffee. It's so nice. And make, I use it with milk. This is like, you dub milk mint is so refreshing. It actually feels like you're kind of like, you have a uh, nice breath as well. Because the mint feel, it just, mm, feels like you're chewing like a watermelon gum. That's what it feels like. It's nice. Awesome. But Prima Arena comes out. Two on full. Uh, definitely Geyser. I'm protecting, so it's huge for us. We should be able to eat it up, even though we are Sash. But Protect comes out. And then Cops. 
What's this cop swinging for? But this is what I'm just going for, guys. Go on my extra. It's got to be on my extra, right? Changes the weather up. Yeah, extra is going to eat beautifully. That protect. Was well, he doubling up into me just in case I was sashed? And I hope so. That'd be big. It changes the weather for us. It changes the weather for us. And we see this thing is orbed. And Nightshade comes out. Block. Beautiful. And now we get the trick room up. Now we get that trick room up just dandy. Trick room. Uh, yay. I think Ghost Spot should be slower than our Prima Arena. Now, now we can play. Now we can have some fun. Let's go for higher horsepower into his own Dusk Pops. And... Mm, I could Shadow Snow. I'm going to Shadow Snow. I could have Ally Switch, but I'm not going to show it just yet. I'm going to need that to keep my Glissa Pod up in here. Let's go. Boop. And I do have uh, Max Flutter by, which is stab lower special attack. We got a crit. Ooh wee. <laughs> a crit on a Pokemon that does nothing for crits. Nightshade come out of here. Can we eat up this Nightshade? Oh, man. Get out of here. We do not eat up the Nightshade. And the Geyser comes out, and I think it's going to take him out. I think it's gonna take out, right? Yeah, oh my lord, we're sitting in a tough position. I think if we would've got that trick him up earlier, like, when we flinched, we would've had this one in the bag, to be honest, but this one's coming. I still think there's a possible win here. I don't think there's a possible win here. This ghost spot's gonna be able to come up clutch. The big dog, he's a big dog. 3v1. Ghost spot clutch? He clutch? Flutterbot can come out here, it's not very effective on him. So, Geyser is definitely gonna have to come out here over onto the Clops. I mean, he might go for an ally switch. Could be tough news for Jeans, baby. Could be tough news for Jeans. But the Prima Arena is really the only thing that I'm, I guess, scared of. But, at the same time, I'm not. Because it can't really do too, too much to me. Actually, it can with the, the Fairy move. That's what he's going for. Max Starfall. Oh my god, I think we're going losing record here. I think we're going losing, or not. Yeah, I think we're going losing record. Come on, go to pod, clutch it up. I think we could have won more if we would have just led the Dust Cops Bolt combo. It's so strong, but I, I showed it off in the first battle, and I didn't just want to go all three battles of just doing that. I think it was cool at first, but I'm trying to show off the Galissi Pod. Galissi Pod, let's see what we got. Pain Split comes out. Yeet. Did that do too, too much? Not, not, not too much to us. Decent amount of damage. Smart play. Geyser comes out. Can we KO with this? Can we KO? That's a real question. I think it might be close. Mm, that was close. Okay. We lose some life orb damage, and uh, Starfall's gonna come in here. No! How much damage is this thing doing? Keeping him out. Oh my lord. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my lord. Absolute beast. That is gonna be GG. That's gonna be GG. Plus, is this thing turns over? Yeah, I think it's turns are over, to be honest. Yeah, okay, so hold the banana cells. Hold the banana cells. I'm thinking I have to take out Primarina here, right? Actually, no. I don't think we have to take out Primarina. Let's just see what happens. Because Primarina is going to go for her Moon Blast, I guess. We're going to take out Duskops here. I could always guard up next turn and then go into Elite Slide and get some HP back as well. Depending on what Pokemon that is. Hold the phone! Watch, well, it's going to be something I can't even handle. Or this Moon Blast is just going to take me out. Eat it up, buddy. It just takes me out. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! I thought we were going to be able to be able to eat up a Moon Blast. Man! Yo, GG to that guy. We go one and two with this team. Dominate that first battle, and we struggle in the next two, but it's all good. I really did like this team, and I feel like I just got to use it a little bit more and learn it up. Very fun team to use on the ladder. That Dragapult and Dust Cops combo is so strong. I highly recommend using that. You can win a lot of battles, especially uh, people who use Dust Cops. You can one-tap Dust Cops and control the battle with just them two Pokemon. We lost the last two, but it's all right. This team is a lot of fun, and I feel like I'm going to use it on the rank ladder just to learn it a little bit and get some wins with Glisspot. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.